Hello summoners, welcome back to the channel and this is a guide on Morningstar. So the first thing you're probably going to notice is that uh, this video is sped up by a lot and the reason for that is that otherwise it just would have been too long as it is it's just seven and a half minutes long so yeah I didn't want it to be like 15-16 minutes. So uh, the first ability that Morningstar has is that she is bleed immune and as far as immunities go like if I had to choose one immunity for a champion then it would be the bleed immunity especially because I run suicide without coagulate and um, you just save up a lot of damage if the champion is bleed immune uh, and uh, also the fact that you can take snorts like caltrops, uh, biohazard and uh, some other stuff uh, so yeah Monixa is a great option for all of that stuff and uh, caltrops and biohazard are like pretty common I'd say in quests and also in alliance quests uh, so now coming to the main mechanic she has is the soul stuff and she is the persistent charge character I think she and Mephisto and Sabretooth were one of the first champions to have persistent charges like she has been in the game for a long time and uh, like uh, she is a really strong character, she's not a character for everyone uh, but uh, when she is built up like the things she can do is pretty crazy and like she is, is pretty much a good option for everything in the end game. Uh, so like uh, we're going to talk what each soul does. Uh, so if she is awakened she is going to start with one soul and the second soul uh, will give you the unblockable uh, no unstoppable on the sp1 the third soul will give you the unblockable on the sp2 which is uh, useful when you're taking up resistor nodes and stuff uh, in the end we're going to have two fights in 6.3.3 against resistor node and you're going to see how quickly she destroys it without any uh, without any boost or anything even without any mystic dispersion which is by the way a ma mastery that i think morning star benefits a lot from uh, and most mystic champions does i guess so mm, yeah you can see here what two and three souls does now more important part of monster i think is the uh, fourth and f especially the fifth soul like the fourth soul gives her 50 percent perfect block chance which is really great like if you remember the old days where uh, she was a great counter to medusa bosses in alliance war uh, one of the most annoying thing about Medusa boss was that you get trapped in the corner and she hits sp2 and it, it was just so much block damage that you basically died and so she was really good for that because the 50% block chance is just really great and the fifth soul is the life steal um, and like it's not a huge life steal like uh, you know uh, clairvoyant sp2 uh, with the uh, Clear, basically clears region but uh, you get it uh, basically you have a chance 20% chance to get it on every single hit so like it's kind of very like it's basically extremely reliable of course there are times when you want it to happen and it doesn't but uh, more often than not uh, it is a great like you get it once every combo and it is a great way to keep spamming sp once even though when you're running suicide masteries because uh, you can usually uh, deal with the recoil damage with the lifesteal and um, she is just so powerful her sp2 we're going to be talking about that here like just look at the sp2 here uh, it will do so much damage and basically like a lot of people just use her for resistor nodes and fights where the opponent has a lot of buffs uh, but she is pretty versatile like here it's not the best matchup like I also had Mephisto that is why I'm starting with one bar of power that is not her ability it is a synergy with Mephisto uh, so he is immune to cold snap and stuff so he would have been a better uh, matchup against Iceman but uh, I just wanted to see how much can I do with just Morningstar so uh, her SP1 once you build her up so basically the thing is that uh, you do bonus energy damage uh, with uh, as your soul goes up uh, your sp1 energy damage also goes up 
uh, and uh, sp3 yeah like let's talk about that we should have talked about that uh, from the starting because that is the way you build her up so the one thing that is kind of bad about one star is uh, that when she does the sp3 she uh, gets some charges and uh, when you hit your opponent a few times uh, you get those charges to 100 that's when she gets the soul if the opponent hits you or you take damage of any form and this includes the poison from suicide masters or any degeneration or anything that you take damage from then the charges uh, then you lose the charges and if you get to zero charges then you lose the soul and you can get maximum one soul per fight so uh, if you're running suicide you have to basically end the fight with uh, sp3 or play extremely extremely aggressively after the sp3 which is not really practical and end game content like you don't want to take the risk um, uh, like if uh, she is an option for labyrinth of legends as well a lot of people use her there also and she is a great option but the thing is you have to take off suicides uh, for the first fight uh, and then uh, gain a soul then quit the match then do the fight again gain a soul quit the match keep on keep doing that till you have five souls so that is that and now i'm going to uh, tell you about the synergies i think two of them stand out and the first is guillotine synergy it gives her uh, it gives her one extra soul uh, so she starts off with two if she's awakened and uh, the other one is with mephisto where he, she gains one bar of power which you, uh, which was the case in every fight that i've showed here uh, so yeah that is pretty much it. She also, if she is awakened, she can copy the buff. I'm not sure if you read it before. Uh, it was, it is one of her abilities. She can copy uh, fury, power gain, and regeneration, and also reduce the opponent's uh, potency uh, of the buff by fifty percent. So it really helps against Hyperion fights and some other fights, and you can get easy regeneration on bigger nodes and stuff. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Subscribe for more content and stay safe.